morning it's pleasure to introduce myself to you i'm ramana you're watching diksha medical ramana we are continue to the epithelial tissues already we learned about the basic structure of epithelial tissues today we are going to learn about origin and types of epithelium origin of epithelial tissues generally the only tissue which is originated from that during embryonic stage there are three primordial germ layers these three germ layers involved to form the epithelial tissue that is for example ectodermal origin the ectodermal origin is stratified epithelium if you take the mesodermal origin simple squamous epithelium if you take the endodermal origin that is inner wall of the gut it is also made up of simple squamous epithelium the epithelial tissue is originated from the three germ layers that is ectodermal origin mesodermal origin endodermal origin ectodermal origin takes place in mostly skin epithelium mesodermal origin is occur in body cavities and the endodermal origin it is occur in during mostly in inner wall of gut inner wall of gut right right now we are going to explain about the types of epithelium generally epithelial tissues are present in the form of layers or get modified as a glands right basically one of the tissue in our body it is present in the form of a layers so basically it is divided into epithelial tissue in the form of a membranous or glandular epithelium going to explain about on the basis of of number of layers number of layers the epithelial tissues are basically broadly divided into two types one is simple epithelium second one is compound epithelium compound epithelium also known as stratified epithelium right so simple and compound what is the difference between simple and compound simple epithelium is nothing but the epithelial tissue which is made up of only single layer of cells the epithelial tissue which is present in the form of a single layer of cells for example this is a basement membrane on it only the number of layers are single right but in this case of compound epithelium the epithelial tissue is made up of two or more than two layers more than two layers so the epithelial tissue which is made up of two or more than two layers such type of epithelium is called compound epithelium or stratified strata so stratified epithelium or compound epithelium strata is nothing but a layers first layer and second layer and third layer fourth layer like that more than two layers such type of epithelium is called compound epithelium right so simple epithelium mostly present in body cavities and ducts and tubes of blood vessels and ducts of bones and it is mostly useful for the diffusion secretion filtration 
and protection and all. But when you come to the compound epithelium, it is not meant for the filtration and diffusion, but it is mostly if more number of layers are present, it is protected from the stress or protected to the body parts. Right? So, the main difference between the simple epithelium compound epithelium simple epithelium it is made up of only single layer of cells compound epithelium is made up of two or more than two layers of cells simple epithelium meant for it is mostly used for diffusion filtration and some areas they may secretion absorption also takes place but compound epithelium mostly useful for it is a wear and tear protection of the skin that is because it has more layers are present these more layers are useful to protect our body or internal organs simple epithelial tissue again broadly divided in four types on the basis of shape of cells and cell modifications cell modifications right there are four types of simple epithelium one is simple squamous epithelium second one is simple cuboidal epithelium Third one is simple columnar epithelium and last one is pseudo stratified epithelium. So basically the epithelial tissues are divided into four types based on shape of the cells and some modifications on the cell one is simple squamous epithelium one is simple cuboidal epithelium one is simple columnar epithelium one is pseudo stratified epithelium we are going to explain about the simple squamous epithelium generally if you see the structure of simple squamous epithelium we know on the basis of number of layers epithelial tissue is divided into two types one is simple one is compound simple epithelium is nothing but it is made up of it is made up of single layer of cells it is made up of single layer of cells that is a specialty of the simple what is meant by squamous squamous epithelium is it is a Cells are flat with irregular boundaries. Cells are flat. If you see the on the apical surface of the tissue, the cells are flat with irregular boundaries. Right. Simple squamous epithelium, it is also known as pavement epithelium simple squamous epithelium also known as pavement epithelium because due to the cell appears like tile so if the cell appears like tile like structure then we can say this type of cells are called or epithelial tissue is called pavement epithelium it is also known as tessellated epithelium tessellated epithelium is nothing but due to wavy appearance the cells are wavy appearance that means they show this type of wavy like appearance so if the cell shows wavy like appearance that type of simple squamous epithelium is called tessellated if the cell shows tile like appearance such type of epithelium is called pavement epithelial tissue simple squamous epithelium is associated with with filtration 
and diffusion generally filtration occurs in mostly in the kidneys nephrons and all and diffusion occurs in the exchange of gases in the lungs now if you take the structure of a simple squamous epithelial cell if you take the we know already the cells may be flat or tile like or wavy like right so take the structure of the cell may be tile like or wave like or flat but nucleus where the nucleus is present and what is the position of the nucleus generally nucleus is present in the center of the cell it is maybe oval in shape is the locations of the simple epithelial tissue or where it was found or where it is present generally it is present in the bowman capsule of nephron generally in the nephron there are many parts are present but uh, a small cup like structure where the filtration takes place it is made up of the lining is made up of simple squamous epithelial tissue so the simple squamous epithelial tissue which is present in the bowman capsule of nephron is called podocytes podocytes are nothing but the simple epithelial cells get modified into the podocytes right second one is the alveoli you know in the lungs there are many small sac like structures are present where the exchange of gases are takes place the exchange of gases between the blood vessel and alveoli generally it is a sac like structure it is surrounded by the capillaries so the lining of this alveoli is made up of simple squamous epithelium and the lining of this blood capillary also made up of simple squamous epithelium due to number of cells are single or thin lining so there is a more chance to exchange of gases right so that is alveoli of lungs these cells are called pneumocytes next mesothelium or peritoneum what is meant by mesothelium or peritoneum generally we know we have body cavities the space present between body wall and gut wall this is a gut wall this space is called coelom this coelom is lined by that means body wall must be lining will be there and gut wall also should be lining should be there right so the lining of body cavities are made up of a specialized epithelium is called peritoneum membrane this peritoneum is divided into two types one is visceral peritoneum second one is a parietal peritoneum visceral peritoneum is nothing but the peritoneum layer which is present towards the body wall parietal peritoneum is nothing but the peritoneum layer which is present towards the gut wall or which is around the visceral organs these two easily can understand visceral and our parietal peritoneum of pleura pleura is nothing but it's a covering of lungs and pericardium it is a heart covering right these two layers are made up of simple squamous epithelium simple squamous epithelium in the mesothelium of body cavities it is called peritoneum peritoneum is two types one is a visceral peritoneum second one is a parietal peritoneum both visceral and parietal peritoneum of pleura and pericardium is made up of simple squamous epithelium next to endothelium endothelium is nothing but if you take the blood vessel the blood vessel there are three layers are present the innermost layer of the blood vessel is called innermost layer innermost layer of the blood vessel is called endothelium this endothelium is made up of simple squamous epithelium right it is mostly present in the blood vessels and lymphatic vessels also next inner lining of the heart wall so if you take the heart right in that there are pericardium or uh, next pericardium after epicardium epicardium after myocardium myocardium after innermost layer is a endocardium this endocardium is made up of simple squamous epithelium next loop of hilni if you see in the nephron the loop of hilni is a 
where the concentrated urine will be formed in the higher vertebrates that is the loop of only next inner surface of tympanic membrane or ear drum you know in the ear there are many parts are there external layer opens into the meatus auditory meatus auditory meatus is covered by a, a thin fleshy connective tissue is called ear drum the inner surface of ear drum is made up of simple squamous epithelium these cells are made up of simple squamous epithelium right so these all uh, locations are meant for are associated with this part is meant for the filtration this part of the alveoli of the lungs meant for exchange of gases and mesothelium these all are responsible for protection and endothelium also helps to exchange of substances and it is the protective area and it is make the urine concentrated and it is also protection so that simple squamous epithelium mostly associated with the filtration diffusion and mostly exchange part that is this all will be takes place in this simple squamous epithelium thank you